Okay, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's all right, all right. So today we're gonna do a little review overview of the Dell Inspiron 2-in-1 15.6 inch touchscreen laptop. Model number I7579. It's going for a closer look. This has the seventh generation Intel Core i7-7500 processor. So it has 12 gigabytes of RAM. 512 SSD drive has the beautiful IPS screen. As you can tell, it's reflective. It's also a touch screen. Has a 360 degrees flip and fold design. We'll zoom in a little closer here. That's those hinges there. So meaning you can flip it all around upside down. All that good silly stuff used as a tablet tent. Comes in handy if you got the uh, sticky fingers and you just like touching the laptop, you know, it feels nice and smooth. So uh, I do recommend the Dell Inspirons. In general, there's a lot of different models, meaning the more you spend, the better you're going to get as far as SSD drive, as far as RAM, you know, as far as storage. But this is a good model. And I'll go on a little more detail for you now in a second. Okay guys, first I'm going to show you the keyboard on this Dell. As you can see that the keys are centered, which I like a lot. On a lot of laptops they won't be centered. Pretty good size as well. And they also have a good feel to them. The buttons feel nice and smooth, no problems there. It does have the back key lit. Hit this button here. Lights up one. It lights up too. I'll turn that light out though so you can see a little better. See how nice that lights up? Even looks a little blue. So I know some of you might be scared of the dark. Maybe you're scared the boogeyman's gonna jump out. No problem at all. Just put on those back key lights and you're good to go. Boogeyman, no fear, you know. So also guys. Let me turn the light back on. The touchpad. Touchpad is nice and big, nice and smooth. Has a little line there, which I like. Little divider. And if you can look close, there's actually a little slope here. Which I like little details like that. So that's like for your wrist. Make it a little smoother to go off and onto the touchpad. So I like little things like that. Makes a nice little difference. Pretty good shot of the keyboard. I think it is white light, but looks a little blue. But again, when the lights are out, it looks great. And if you want to turn it off, just turn it off. Okay, guys, I don't know if you noticed yet. This is nice and smooth brushed metal. The whole area is made of brushed metal, not plastic. So I like that. It's got that Iron Man look and feel, little Tony Starks. Might feel like a Marvel superhero when you're using this. You know, I definitely prefer it, you know, instead of plastic. So, you know, you're not scared it's gonna crack or chip or whatever. Just has a way more solid feel to it and build. So let's go to the side. We'll check out some of the ports it has. And if we look all the way left here, actually the power button's here, nice and close, it's easy to turn on. It's got a little volume control, down, up. I like how that's on the side of the laptops. Seems like a lot of them took away that feature, and instead of stretching across the keys, got it right on the side, easy access. So we go over, we got the SD card reader right here. And then we got a USB 2.0 port. So let's go back around and check out the other side. Do you want to show you we got this nice little button here that lights up. That's for when the uh, laptop's charging, you plug that in, lights up nice and bright. And then when it's finished charging, the light goes out. Nice little feature. We'll check out the left side of the keyboard. See what's cooking over here. It's right there, that's where you plug it in. Power that bad boy up. Got the Type C port over here. That's the newer version. Probably more technology soon coming out to use that. 
Got HDMI right here. Then we got another USB port, and this one is a 3.0. That's the one we want. I wish they both were 3.0s, but at least we have one. And right here we got the mic and headphone jack combo. So uh, it's pretty good. Just to let you guys know, the battery charges about five to seven hours. All depends how you use it, how bright the screen is, you know, what you're doing on it. Um, I wish it was a little longer, but that's good enough for me. I usually have it plugged into the wall as it is. But they did come out with an external battery that plugs right in to USB-C port, which is nice. And that goes from dead to 80% charge. So that can come in pretty handy, like candy. You know? Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed my review overview of the Dell. Again, I highly recommend it. There's a lot of different variations of it. Uh, meaning, you know, you can get SSD drive full or partial. How much RAM you want, how much memory. It's all a matter of the price range. Uh, in general, I'll put a link in the description on Amazon where you can purchase one. If you do use my Amazon links, it's greatly appreciated because I'm an Amazon affiliate. Uh, I might do a couple more videos, maybe go in more detail on, uh, you know, like boot speed, web browsing, how pictures, video looks. Uh, if that's something you guys seem might want, let me know. Um, but so far, so good. I've used OpenOffice on this. I've used Audacity on this. I've watched YouTube videos, AOL, Google Chrome. Everything's running great, nice and quick. Touchscreen's very accurate. So I definitely have no complaints and I do recommend it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. Hopefully I can help you out. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day and night. Make it a good day. Maybe pick up a new laptop, make it an even better day. Maybe get some tacos and make it an incredible day. But for now, Evidence.